Hi everybody, it's Debbie. Robert. And John. We're Spectral Researchers. We are here at Waverly Hills, finally. Long awaited visit. We're just about to get started. We're here with our very good friend, um, Jay from The Journey is the Destination, Carl, Nancy and Nick from Hunting the Haunted. Um, check their channels out down below. Let us know if you hear anything or see anything. We're probably gonna do something on each floor and some alones and also the body shoot. So there'll be quite a few videos. We won't release them all at once, so keep checking back. All right, guys, keep safe. We love you. Bye, guys. Hello. My name is Debbie. I'm Robert. My name is John. And we're just here to talk to you. Anybody here that wants to talk? And we are here, guys, at room 502. Yeah, we are. Get a shot of that. We are at room 502. No, over here. 501, 502. Okay. Long rumoured to be Mary. where Mary, a nurse that had got pregnant and aborted the baby, hung herself. But we learned tonight that that's probably very unlikely. And I have to agree. I don't think any nurse would come here and hang herself where the children's wards are. This is a children's ward. That is. I don't believe any nurse would come out here and hang herself there and let the children witness that. So it was a, an urban legend kind of thing. And now we believe that the spirit that haunts this area is a spirit by the name of Sarah, right? Yeah, that's what we was told by the guy that gave it to her. Yeah, so Sarah was, they believe by the evidence they've gained through various different investigations, Sarah was a nurse who worked here. She was quite petite, and that's why she was sent to work with the children. And a man who worked here also overpowered her, raped her, and murdered her up here. And that is the spirit that resides up here, apparently. So we're going to see. Whoa. There's a flashlight from outside. Okay. We're going to see if we can make contact with Sarah or any of the children, because this is the children's floor. The children's floor was the top floor because the treatment for tu tuberculosis, tubu ah, tuberculosis, tuberculosis <laughs> um, was fresh air partially. And so they had them up here near the roof. They had a rooftop playground even. So let's see how we do. Let us know if you hear anything or see anything. Is what Debbie said is true about Sarah? Sarah, are you here? We're so very sorry about what happened to you. Either one of the stories are very tragic. We have a few things out that will let you know, or let us know that you're here. We have a few little clear balls on the ground that will light up if you touch them. And also any one of the little lights we have here, you can touch and they'll make noises and light up. You probably know how to use all of our equipment because you get lots of visitors. So you know that nothing will hurt you. What happened to you, Sarah? Who hurt you? Is the real story that someone that worked at the hospital hurt you? Go figure. Hello. Are you Sarah?
Could you talk to us? Did you have a hurt neck, Sarah? Is it the bag? No. No, it's not. Sarah, if that's you, could you give us a sign? If we bring you a rampart, a little box that makes some noise that you've touched before, because other people bring them, would you touch it for us? Where are they? Let's look where. Just right there is the bag. In front of the bag. Is that a good spot, do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh! I jumped away from it, like, leave that alone. <laughs> is, why is there a little one on the rampart? Is a rampart making one? That's never happened no, that's before. That's the bag. Oh. Lens right behind it. Oh, okay. Do you have another bag? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you think you could touch that little box? It won't hurt you. Is your name Sarah? Are you not Sarah? Um, everyone's going to call me the wrong name. Does it upset you that people have been getting your story wrong? Are you a nurse? Did are you, you? Go ahead. Are you a doctor? Are you a child? Want to try the spirit box? You see, I left a teddy bear for you. You can play with that. Sarah here.
I thought I just heard she heard her neck. What happened to your neck? Have a Mary? How many are here? Is there anybody here who would like to speak to us? They're probably all worn out now. That's what I was thinking too. You gotta think of how your teams have been up here. And the nurses were probably young. Like 30. <coughs> and the nurses were probably young. Mm -hmm. And the children that, you know, aren't sleeping. Asleep by now. We're disturbing them. Hey John. Are you gonna say there's something right here? Yes, there freaking is, dude. Good, I just alright. Yes, there freaking is. I just thought I saw somebody in the store. Hello. <laughs> Can you reach out and touch my hand? Stand there with like their back towards you. Nope. Now they turned around. Like, hey, what are you doing? Can you touch my hand? They're a lot taller than you. A lot taller, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So it can't be the nurse. Who's here with me? You reach out and touch me? It almost looks like they're trying to like be like, like yell at me or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How tall? How, how, like Put your hand up again? No, taller than that. Is it this kind of person? Sorry about this tall John, I'm not even exaggerating. Alright, so when I seen what I just thought I saw, it looked white and it was in this door frame and it was almost as tall as the door frame. He's like reaching out and like like checking your chest out. <laughs> or what's in your hand maybe, I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> are you are and gone. Just, oh now he went. So that was that was really freaky. Because I was just about to say I saw somebody in this door frame. Wow. When Robert told me that somebody was standing there. Wow. <laughs> Could you come back, please? I honestly thought that I had gotten the light in my eye. Yeah. And it, like, you know, when you get the light in your eye, it kind of. 
stay up here any longer or are we done? I say we take a break for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I do too. All right. All you gotta do is touch it. We bought that bear especially for you. Go and grab him. You can have him. You can play with him. <laughs> Were you guys checking out that little bear? Wonder if it's okay to play with? It definitely is. You know, I'm just thinking about that time period too. You know, if they went over and touched a bear that lit up, there's a fight to bring it out. Yeah. yeah. It's just a light, like a candle. They're probably used to things like this here now. Because the people bring these kind of things all the time here. Yeah. Like, maybe with spirits every day, it starts over. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It won't hurt you, it's just a bear with a little candle light in his belly, in his tummy. See if you can touch him again, or just walk in front of him. That's all you have to do. All right. I'm not gonna.